games for the same reason that video games are a growing genre, which is the fact that there's an interactive element to it. Um, there's a story, but you get to control it. You get to say where, to, where you go, what the character does that you're controlling. Uh, you make the decisions, you, you play the game. It's a great escape. Sometimes, you know, I just want to jump online with my friends and play League of Legends. It's it's fun, you know, I get to interact, I get to strategize, I get to think. And and in a way, it teaches you more, more than just the time management for me. It teaches you better strategies, it teaches you better logic thinking, it, it can sharpen your reflexes depending on the games you play. One of my first courses was an intro to, uh, I guess, film and media. Uh, course and our professor the very first day <laughs> said something three times he said that video games are now making more money than most blockbuster films well, that really caught my attention in terms of an artistic career it's it's a risk no matter what <laughs> you do but making more money is always a good thing and so then I just kind of sat back in my chair in class and thought what do I do with most of my time I don't sit in front of a TV, I don't, you know, I do go to the movie theater, you know, often, but not as much as I do sitting in front of my TV playing video games, sitting on my computer watching Let's Plays of other people playing video games, so on and so forth, making my own YouTube videos based on video games. I, I just kind of hit myself on the head and was like, why, why didn't I decide this sooner? So, video games definitely have driven me to the career path that I have now, which is trying to get into the video gaming industry. A really long time ago, I, uh, I was really into this game called The Conduit, and uh, I made a, a fan site for it that gained a lot of traction to the point where Sega themselves, the company that published the game, and High Voltage Studios more directly, asked me if I wanted to be one of their official sites, and of course I said yes. And, I mean, it it everybody on that site we just got really close and i think those are connections you can only get through video games i mean that's how i got them if it wasn't for that game i would never have met these people or have had the experience to know their their jobs and you know it's it just builds it up a lot and it it's a very big social culture that is growing and hopefully doesn't replace human interaction but it's it has its place uh, in the future it really does How much time I spend on video games? <sighs> Too much time, <laughs> probably. Uh, for me, never enough time, but uh, oh, like two, three years of my life by now. <laughs> uh, the hours really add up, um, but it's it's worth it. <laughs> um, you, there, you gotta do something with your fun time, right? Games have really evolved to the point where it actually, you know, you have to strategize a lot depending on what you're going to do. Games like Civilization, you know, it takes a lot of thought, it takes a lot of progress. You can't just jump into that game expecting to mindlessly do things. Uh, so it really does depend on the game, but that's the same thing as anything. It depends on the book you read, it depends on the movies you watch, it depends on the things you study. It's the same thing with video games is depending on the game you play, it's 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 worthwhile. It's it's a it's a good hobby. And some games are just worth the story. Some people love reading books just to have a great story and there's very heavily story driven games that are, that really make gaming worth it and I, I very much think so. To mold and make these characters, enemies, um, environments, entire worlds even, I, it has to take tons of artistic, you know, work and effort. Um, beyond that, then there's music, which is a huge part of video gaming that I love. I, I listen to video game soundtracks almost more than I do normal music. <laughs> and then there's the storytelling element, which is a huge part of artistic, or is becoming a huge part of artistic entertainment, is storytelling, and video games do it so differently and so brilliantly. I love where games are going. Be, be for that reason. They're not just settling anymore for the gameplay. They're, they're knowing that story drives 
the, the game for a lot of people. And, and visually, the more impressive it gets, the more it sells. So um, definitely, you no know, uh, video games have a place in the art world. And, and people will start realizing that uh, in the coming years because it, it's gaining traction very quickly. The video game uh, community is growing and sooner or later, the, the world can't ignore it for much longer. We're not just nerds in our mother's basements. We're, we're so much more than that.